Hi Gemini, welcome to Psychic Consultants. My name is Agatha and this is your full year 2016 reading. I'm going to lay three rows of four cards representing each month. And then I'm going to draw a card from the Tantric Dakini Oracle, which is a new deck that I have, which I really like. It's really interesting. And that will just give an overall kind of theme or message or advice for the whole year and the story that will come out. Right. Okay, so let's just even these up. Sorry about the banging, if you can hear that. I'm not quite sure what that is. Something going on. So, starting off the year here with the Queen of Pentacles, so feeling really good. Feeling abundant, feeling wealthy and in all aspects of life, feeling supported, feeling as though you kind of got things down and just feeling good and lots of good things going on, everything bright and sunny, um, nice bit of energy, just kind of balanced energy though. You have everything you need, you have what you want when you want it, you have what you need when you need it, you have who you need when you need them. Um, so, yeah, just enjoying the spoils of really great life. So, I feel as though, you know, 2015 was a, was a good year. And, um, yeah, I think... Uh, Especially at the beginning of the year, there's a lot of uh, pentacles cards, so there's kind of a lot of money, a lot of money um, around you in the beginning of the year. Um, but starting off on a really good foot and just feeling very, very good. But that is followed by this Three of Swords, so on an emotional level, or a love level could be um, some difficulties and some kind of like feelings of heartbreak um, and just feeling really quite broken, which is not necessarily a bad card um, because maybe your heart needed to be broken. Um, I see this as a kind of, there's a lot of material cards kind of surrounding it. So it's like, it's as though you were a little bit too focused on the material world and maybe thinking that that was what was the most important. But then this kind of wake up call comes in which just reminds you that you are a feeling person and you are a heart-centred person. And for Gemini and the twins, it may be like there's a side of you, like one side of you is really kind of quite materialistic and the other side of you is really quite emotional and soft, but you kind of um, think that you have to be hard to be successful in the material world but and it doesn't um it's as though you've you're neglecting your softer side and when you and so this kind of heartbreak is just 
really all down to you and you not nurturing your heart because and yeah it could be from someone else and it could be a relationship but it's at, at the end of the day relationships don't fall apart by themselves and people don't end relationships relationships end because they're not being nurtured from both sides and it doesn't really matter who makes the decision at the end of the day and so whether this is the end of a relationship or whether it just you feel that way or that you feel like your heart is aching in some way it's just because your heart's saying oh hello I'm here this isn't the be all and end all of everything um just make sure that you you give me some attention so if you I think basically that any of your romantic relationships or your heart or your emotional life or your emotional self will need a lot of attention in February and it's though you really need to you know you're in control and you can take out these swords if you want to but it's about you have to look at it you have to be aware and it's not necessarily a bad thing that you have that awareness it's really good that you have that awareness I mean imagine if you just didn't feel any pain you were some kind of like weird psychopath <laughs> because basically that's what happens so any kind of feelings of broken heartedness a it's up to you to pull the swords out if you want and open your heart fully and and b if we didn't feel it it's just a little marker on the way to guide you so i'm just feeling as though if you want to stop anything bad really Basically, nothing really bad can happen. It doesn't really matter what happens. It's up to you to, to feed your heart in, in February, in the love month, Valentine's Day. So do not neglect your heart. Because following on is the Ten of Pentacles. So I do feel as though because of that, this is a card of material wealth, but also emotional wealth and family and community and even marriage and partnership. So it's important that you, and I think you will, understand the need for emotional and heart-centred, heart-open um thinking to impact your material life so um and that will happen if you give it the attention that it needs and we're moving into march you get that abundance you get that feeling in all areas because it says ten of pentacles is a really great 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 card i mean even if maybe this is like the end of a relationship or some kind of heartbreak that you don't feel like you can have some kind of, you have any power over. Um, in um, It will very quickly move into something much better and brighter and um, fulfilling. And I'm actually feeling as though, even if it feels like it's the end of something, it really won't be, because it's a bit strange. It's either like somebody will come in, someone new will come in very quickly, or this will be healed, and I feel like this will be healed for, for most, the energies for this reading for most of you, if there is any kind of um, heartbreak. It will be healed very quickly, and this is a very this is a very strong card of partnership for me, so I wouldn't really worry about it, and I really feel as though it's it's kind of just a bit of a, a, a wake-up call that you need to step up, and you will. And then following that, you, we have the King of Pentacles. So, and because you start with the Queen of Pentacles, and we have them flanked, we have them both here, this is a very, these, these are, you know, these, for me, these are kind of like married, these two cards, so, and with these cards in the middle, so I feel as though the first third of the year is about you learning to balance probably work and your relationships and your emotional life because, and, and if you don't, it will, it will just not work, but you will. From this reading, you will, because it's like the two partners are here and then in the middle are these two things. So this is the card of like kind of like them both coming together. And this is this is the kind of 
the card of you feeling the heart. It's just about you not being able to ignore how your heart's feeling. Because you look at it, it's like, ow. Um, but it's up to you to take those messages and do what you need to do. And you will. And stepping into a huge amount of abundance. The king and the, the queen and king of pentacles together. I mean, wow. This is just like money, 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 money. Huge amounts of wealth and abundance. So just feeling wealthy, being wealthy. Um, yeah, so that's what's kind of going to go on. And, and it could be quite a lot of, um, yeah, it's just going to be fun. Like there's a lot of, um, it's more about you enjoying the spills than, than working too hard. So that's kind of cool. Then we move into May and June with these two knights here. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Uh, this is a pretty intense amount of energy coming in. This Knight of Wands was in the same position in another reading and I'm getting the same thing and it is that it is a fire sign. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, who's just very forceful and comes in at you. Um, and this Knight of Swords is kind of your energy as the Knight energy kind of going forward. And I do see this as a kind of card of partnership because they're both kind of going in the same direction. We've got the Knight of Wands holding up his wand. We've got you, the Knight of Swords. So it's like there's a fire sign energy or somebody that's very fiery and passionate and you that's kind of you in your thinking way again in your kind of like air sign mental way um, but you two joining forces in a really great great um, rush of energy so there's a, I'm feeling a lot of partnership going on here with these like two knights here and then this king queen of pentacles so it's like and you've got there's all this kind of like cash around or just you know, abundance of things that you need to kind of go on your mission together. Or like, it's like the kind of king and queen are here and then there's these kind of knights kind of go rushing off together. And it's like, you kind of go rushing off together and there's a lot of um, energy here to go out into the world and do things together. So, yeah, so kind of May and June... That's kind of what's going to be going on. Lots of just huge amounts of movement. And then in July, we have the Empress. So this is just like another lovely, beautiful card of abundance and creativity and fertility and pregnancy and growth and just sitting and enjoying the beauty all around you. So this is just like a really great, I feel like it, there'll be some like vacations, some holiday, it's like a holiday time. And, and yeah, just, this is one of my favorite cards. Um, and there's quite a lot of like feminine power this as well and, and a mother earth power and just kind of like being around around nature these kind of trees and grasses and things and 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 just enjoying the peace and tranquility of of nature and maybe a bit of a slowing down for this kind of rushing energy and a bit of a chill out, kind of enjoying the spoils again. So maybe a lot of movement forward, a lot of creation, a lot of kind of doing, doing things, and then moving into a more restful time. But it's also a creative card, so it's more maybe just kind of more on a creative level rather than a kind of thinking level or an emotional level um, with the Empress. But then moving on from the Empress, we do have the Devil. So I'm taking this just to be a little bit aware of 
taking things for granted and overdoing things because there's a huge amount of wealth and abundance and fertility around you and it's as though it's like don't get chained to it again it's the same thing about um holding on to um the material world and kind of thinking that it um it is everything and just wanting to enjoy the spoils of life and um maybe overdo it with with it sounds it sounds kind of wrong to say you can't overjoy overdo enjoyment but it is a bit like you don't life can't be one endless party at some point you're going to have to um slow down i'm also getting a lot of possession possessiveness i think maybe even like this great relationship that you have again you just maybe close your heart off again and then get a little really possessive it's kind of like the this is for me the like opposite of the lover's card it's because it kind of mirrors the lover's card but it's like lover's card in a kind of wrong way so it's like holding on to it too tightly and just suffocating it and can be a card of addiction so it's like you've got this kind of addiction to wealth or addiction to your relationship or addiction very just just taking things a little bit too too far just be a bit careful and it's very easy you can see the way the kind of energy moves like a huge amount of movement here and then this kind of like oh, huge card of abundance and beauty and then it has to go somewhere you know if the energy keeps pushing forward if you don't kind of temper it back it will just kind of sour into some the energy just goes can grab onto things that it doesn't really need to it has to keep flowing so just try and keep flowing and try not to hold on to everything so this is kind of like august august time and then here we have the seven of cups in reverse so that's kind of interesting I feel as though there'll be a little bit of confusion. And in this card, you see all the cups are filled with all these kind of interesting, well, if I put it up this way, it's filled with kind of like interesting, wonderful things. And then in the reverse, they all kind of fall out. So I do, so if we take that literally, it kind of mean that there's going to be some kind of fallout, basically, in um, moving into September. Probably because of this weird devil energy that um just kind of occurred i think because of just a too much too much of a good thing basically that's what this card is saying is a too much of a good thing and then everything kind of appears to fall out but because this is a card of illusions and things it's just like it appears to fall out but it's not really it's not really real and you have to then decide what's what's real and what's not and i'm getting i i'm getting kind of a lot of addiction here for some reason whether it's with you or with someone else it's like there's going to be someone you or someone that you love is going to get kind of addicted to something or it could be anything a relationship or a, a person or you know it could be drugs alcohol it could be it could be anything but there's going to be a fallout because of it and that's going to have a big impact on you and there's going to be some conflict. The, these two cards, I'm getting fallout conflict. So, um, and it feels emotional. It doesn't feel like it's anything to do with business. I think that um, everything's going to be fine on like a money, money front. But as I said, like there's a whole lot of energy here and then it kind of gets, it goes a bit sour and then um, there's a bit of, and a lot of kind of conflict happens. But, you know, it's okay. It's just part of life. Just be aware of it. Just be ready for it. That's what the tower is kind of for. We're ready for it. And the, but so that's kind of September, October, this kind of conflict time. But it moves into the Nine of Cups, which is the Wish card. So 
it's just, even though it may feel awful around these three months, from the devil, the seven of cups in reverse, and then this seven of wands, it might feel difficult and kind of, I and I feel that there's a lot of stubbornness involved, these kind of devil card and this seven card, there's going to be stubbornness either from you or whoever you're kind of like dealing with. But it will come to a res. It's, I think it will suddenly somehow come to this like miraculous resolution where you just get everything that you want suddenly somehow out of nowhere. Could be something comes in. This is just like a um. Yeah, it's like. And I'm really feeling that was this quick shift. It's a very quick shift of energy. Everything kind of seems to make sense. Then there's this like, you know, it gets a little bit dark and a little bit dodgy and then suddenly wow everything's fine and rosy again or there's some kind of like win or some it's very it's a it's a very quick change and and shift which then following that we have the eight of wands and there's so that steps into a whole load more movement again so I do feel as though it's going to be quite a tumultuous, quite an up and down year. It's going to be amazing. A lot of really cool things happening. Um, a lot of kind of emotional ups and downs. And I do feel like for most of the year, like the whole first half of the year, is going to feel like so amazing. It's just like, wow. Um, I, I didn't know life could get this good. It's like the best it's ever been. And then somehow, I feel like the message is, if you don't get hold of that, because everything goes in waves and ebbs and flows, and it can't just keep rising and rising and rising and rising and rising. It just kind of, it doesn't go up in a straight line. It, it just, it, you can't, that energy can't sustain. It has to kind of slow down. If it's going too fast, it's like a kind of like pot, you boil the water and it's just going to boil over. If you don't turn that heat down. And so when you, you could kind of stop this weird stuff happening if you um, just turn it down a bit. But I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to do that because it's just a very difficult thing to do, isn't it? It's like, oh, let's just not have so much of a good thing. Um, but, you know, you can just be aware of that. But then following, I just think like moving into 2017 as well. I mean, it seems miles away, but there's a lot of great energy coming. And then this can also be the Cupid's love card. Though I do feel a really strong relationship kind of going through the whole of this year. I don't feel, I think there'll be ups and downs with it. And I think there'll be, if this kind of like addiction issue comes up, that could be involved. But I don't, but I think it will get resolved. Uh, I don't think it's, um, I don't see any kind of, like, I feel a, a strong connection with in a relationship. Okay, so I'm going to take a Tantric Dakini Oracle card. Just to see what the overall kind of theme and message is that, can help us with this whole story. Okay, that one shot out. So we have number 36, The Guardian. So I just need to look in the book because I'm not quite sure of these cards yet, they're brand new. Guardian bears the number 36, signifying entry into the higher tantric initiations. According to the classification by elements, this is a fire card, normally related to the suit of wands in the traditional tarot. This card represents the presence of the most potent form of protection. Mahakala is the devourer of all the enemies of truth, burning up all illusion. The drawing of this card indicates the presence of a guardian angel. So that's really interesting because it seems to be pretty related. I'm relating it to this devil card and the uh, this card here. So it's just giving us some clarification on that area. I don't feel as though the rest of the year is really going to be um, 
of this, this kind of energy. But it's just that this whole kind of devil attachment, addiction, taking things too far thing is just to clarify what's real and what isn't. And you will be protected throughout that period um, and burn away the burning away of your illusions. It could be quite intense that you just maybe you th you know you thought you knew who you were and then something comes up and you uh, you have to rethink your identity a little bit. But you will have help, and it, do, it it's not a long time. It's only like a couple, two or three months, and at the end, on the other side, is everything you've ever wished for, and a huge amount of love. So, so yeah, I I'm seeing that as, and guardian is such a beautiful word. It's just like this is you yourself, your higher self, helping you to get back on track to what you really want. Anything that you perceive to be kind of negative and difficult and a little bit um, of conflict and a little bit of difficulty is just you communicating with you to get you back on track so you can your wishes can come true. So you don't need to worry about that. And I do feel like that's just for that bit and the rest of the year. Like it, it's most of the cards are just great. Um, and it is it is about your relationships. It is about love. It's a, and not get carried away with the material world. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you would like a private uh, reading for the year, um, please email me. I will put the email below the video. I will be doing monthly readings for each sign. So subscribe if you'd like to get those as they are uploaded um, otherwise I hope you have an incredible year I hope you have an incredible end of this year and I will see you soon take care